What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to this uh, new video on NEO. Um, wanted to do a quick review on that, wanted to give you my thoughts on it. In general, we'll do a full update. I think it's quite obvious why. Um, it's uh, It's been super bullish, <laughs> alright? So if you look at NEO right now, I think that uh, NEO does this more often. Um, but the volume went up 3000%. It's, uh, it's now up to $1.1 billion, massive increase in price as well. I think it's like 30, 30%. Um, and that's massive, all right? So NEO, no, it was actually 50% from the bottom to the top. Um, but NEO is a, is, a, is a big crypto. Like it has a market cap of $1.5 billion, right? So this was a massive move. And I just wanted to give you my thoughts. I actually do think that this can continue to go up. So obviously like some of you might say that, oh, it has already rallied, rallied your lates. Um, but trust me, there will still be value in this video. Um, but um, but we'll, we'll, we'll get into that, right? So right now, if you look at NEO purely technically, we're looking at the daily time frame chart, by the way. This looks super bullish, all right? Th th there's nothing you can say about this. This is just super bullish. We're, we're making basically since October, we're making higher lows here, excuse me, and we're making higher highs. And that's, that's if you zoom out. If you go to the three day time frame, this is even more bullish. So ultimately, long term, if you're a long term, long term holder of NEO, I expect this to still get up to 25. I expect this to get up to, to $30. Uh, I even think 38 and $40 is a possibility. Um, fundamentally, NEO uh, is also doing some things, but NEO in general, I mean, it's, it's, it's a bit of a, an old crypto, right? And also right now, if you, if you look at NEO, the thing is, is that this move is manipulated. If you look at where the volume is coming from, most of it is coming from Upbit and some other shady exchanges. So that's something you have to know, all right? It, it, doesn't, it doesn't mean that NEO is, is bad or anything, but it is something you should know. It is manipulated. Um, so in general, be careful if you want to trade this, all right? You should know this, but at this point of time, just to be completely honest with you, um, it's bullish. <laughs> so I, I actually do think that we can rally up higher. Open interest is also increasing a, a ton. So if you're if you're if you're a new trader, I would probably stay away from this. Um, but what looks most likely right now is that we have this resistance level at 22.5. It looks most likely that we will actually break above that and rally up to $25. And then at $25, you have to look at the open interest. If the open interest doesn't crash down, then we can also break above 25 and rally up to $30. Trust me. It's possible, even though that's a move of about 100% in a matter of uh, in a matter of like a couple of days. So that's just what you have to watch. I mean, at one of these levels, which could also be 22.5, by the way, I mean, it's not guaranteed that we'll break above that. At one of these levels, what's going to happen is that we will have a significant rejection, something like this, for example, or something like, um, well, not not something, yeah, not, not something like that, but just significant resistance. All right, one of these levels is going to provide that. And then from there, we'll have somewhat of a bigger retest. But at this moment that we have found strong support at the 236 FIP, that the open interest is still increasing. Obviously, I have to tell you that I think it's most likely will continue to go up. There's no bearish indication yet. Now, if, for example, just to, to give you a hypothetical scenario, because that's what you need to watch for, that's what you need to need to monitor. If neo right now gets up to 22.5 and it cannot break above that in the next like two two days then it's more likely that from there we'll drop back down down to this level right here at 19 and and, and 18.5 dollars which is the previous high and that's an interesting buy opportunity right because you can also see that historically the the every time we drop down to a previous uh, major top like right here that has been a, 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 an, an, an immense buying opportunity, all right? So the previous top is 18.5 here. So if we really struggle with breaking above 22.5, could also be $25 if we get that breakout. But if we struggle with that and we cannot break above that and the open interest starts falling down, we'll drop down to 18.5 and that's another great buy opportunity in my eyes. Um, so a lot of opportunities still, even though we have already rallied a lot, right now the most important thing is can we break above 22.5, yes or no? It seems most likely that we will. But those are my thoughts. That's what you need to know. Like I said, be careful because there still is a lot of manipulation. Uh, but those are my thoughts. So thank you for watching. Take care and bye.